Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abraham, you know my partner, Albert Cam. Good things happen at South Range, Dale. Great things happen at South Range. Wrestling state champs de- defeating Liberty Center on their way to a 36-28 win over Barnesville. And in the final, defeating Milan Edison 38-36. South Range, Christopher Colucci with a pin in the 215-pound weight class to secure the state championship. I was thinking about, George, on the way over, wrestling. You could be 102, 110 pounds yeah. <laughs> and be part of a championship team and a, an important part. You yeah, know, absolutely. no other sport can that happen. I remember those guys in the cafeteria eating jello or sucking on ice <laughs> cubes. And one guy be there eating the heavyweight, be there eating just whatever anyone didn't finish. Right. <laughs> and those guys that like, the, the lower weights in oh, yes. particular. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think they about that. Struggling. Now, they've passed some rules since my time as far as how Can't much starve. you could yeah. lose and all. But just the same. Yeah, but it's interesting. A little guy in the elementary school who, who loves wrestling yeah. can be, become an yep. all-state wrestler. Absolutely. You know, there's no other. Really, I can't, I can't think, play basketball. Yeah, I can't think of any other sport that sure. can happen. Yeah. You know, so that's a congratulations to South Range. Well, the word comes to mind with me, like if you said to me, you know, I know they're tough as nails. Oh, wrestling. yes. If you said one word to me, wrestling, you get one word, I'd say sacrifice. Always. Because whether it's what you're eating mm-hmm. or not eating, what you're doing to keep the weight, and what you're doing to train, it, it, those guys are tough. Yeah, it's an individual sport, too. Oh. So there's nobody out there helping you. No. So the, so the sacrifice you make are, is practicing your moves on your own, uh, doing, doing things on that mat that – only great wrestlers can do. You know, George and I can never. I took a wrestling class in college, and the worst thing about it was my flexibility. Yeah. Like they get my arm back. Yeah, they, yeah. And I felt like my arm was going to fall off. They're so flexible. You know, they nope. You, you take the grand of strength. Yeah. You take the grand of quickness. Yeah. But they're so flexible too. It's amazing. Back. Yeah, you know that's a good point. And these guys, as as we said, I, I have a buddy, pretty good wrestler in his own right. And he was at uh, Slippery Rock, and they had a guy there that was a legend. He was a coach for like 30 years. He could still take, he went to the high school after, he could still beat the kids. He was 55 wow, years old. Wow, And something? my buddy said, like, when they all got to thinking they were pretty good, he would take them on the mat himself and just rough them up. To, <laughs> he said, honestly, he said, I get off that mat, and I didn't think I was very good. Well, somebody's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, but these guys are all tough, and as you say, it's, a little man can be fine. Yep. And so congratulations to South Absolutely. Range. Absolutely. In other sports in our area, West Branch was named their football coach, and they didn't go far. They, they hired assistant Tim Cooper. A special day for Tim as he, he loves West Branch. I've uh, been in the program for five years, started at the junior high level. Uh, here's what I think, George. They were 13-1 last year. And uh, I have, I have uh, that heathen on my shoulder with this. Yeah, yeah. That I'm thinking – Coach, watch out, Tim. <laughs> I think you're probably. I'm guessing this. Now, I know nothing would make me say it. No. But I think you're inheriting a program. Probably graduated 18 starters. Like usually, a coach does not get out when he has a 13-1 record. If he has all all 22 coming back. I hope we're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I like to be wrong, wrong too. Now he's in all all in with any record wise or no record wise. I mean, he was at the junior high, so he knows what's coming. Yes. I mean, not the last few years, but it, when <laughs> oh, he, he starts, knows. he knows. Yeah. But I, I think I, I think what I'm looking it happens so many times, George. That's what, no, that's I, what, I very seldom see a coach say, I'm gonna get out of here and leave that thirteen and one team. Yeah, my buddy. I, the other <laughs> thing is too, you know, you look at that and you, you talk about it. It's like leaving the team, you know, and somebody says, Well, uh, they were pretty good last year. I said, Yeah, I'd like to look into it. <laughs> and I'm hoping we're wrong. <laughs> because no, I've been there. Rarely the guys leave. You know, that's what we rarely. always talk about in the NFL, you know, talk rarely. about the minority coaches. They always get the worst oh, job. Oh, yeah. They don't get the worst job. They're always jobs. saying, yeah. and I always kidded around when I was a basketball coach. I go, the McKinley job isn't coming open. <laughs> no. The St. V's job's not coming open. Was it, was it Holtz? I can't remember. Some famous coach. Holtz. It was Holtz. Well, told About somebody. making it good. Yeah. It was Urban Meyer. <laughs> Urban Meyer. He, and, and, Urban Meyer was complaining about Bowling Green. He didn't want to bother job. with him. Bowling Green. And Skip and he were buddies. And, and, and he said, he just go to lunch. It finally Lou says, Skip, all right, I'll go to lunch. And our Meyer starts out by saying, the job's a bad job. Right. Lou, Lou said two things. He said, number one, he said, it's your job to make it a good job. Right. And number two, if it were a good job, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> yes. 
That's the I truth. Mean, That's no. why we're bringing this up. No. Because very seldom I hope high you, school, college, and pros no. do good jobs open up. No. Usually some. If the, Drew Brees was there, Sean Payton wouldn't retire. No. He'd still be, he no. wouldn't be thinking about retiring. No. He got out one reason. Yeah. No, he sees that writing on the he wall. He sees Jameis Winston <laughs> throwing the ball to the other yes. team. We're hurt all the time. He knows. No, and, and we hope we're wrong. We want to be wrong. It's the truth. But outstanding and the best wishes because you got something to aspire to 13 and 1. And he's aspiring to a place that he could tell he loves. So that really helps with a passion for the Absolutely. place. Absolutely. Youngstown State women, talking about somebody who's playing well. Yeah. There's, they are. They're 20 and 4 in the season now and 14 and 3 on the horizon after Megan Callahan led the, to the Penguins to a win 69 55 over Pitt Fort Wayne Sunday. Uh, winning breeds confidence. Confidence it leads to more success. It's just a runaway freight train. Winning games, George. I had a game on TV, sorry. And uh, the one team, 40 section titles, <laughs> 40, 21 Whitfield titles, and eight state titles. That's why they won that game, by the way. Only reason. That's why they won no, that game. The only, no, it's the only reason. I said to the guy, I said, you understand? I said, this one team thinks they're going to win. Right. The other one's waiting for something to happen. They know. Yeah. What, and, were they down 14 on the fourth quarter no, or something? Yeah, they 25-10 fourth quarter. Yes, and it won. was a classic. We've been here before. We expect, the word, expect mm -hmm. to win. And that's a big part of, a, of sports. I always said Georgia's team did that. Georgia's teams always thought they went on the floor and they, were, they thought they were going to, they believed they were going to win the game. They didn't know who they were playing. Um, you know these teams in this area. You could, as I'm talking, we're talking to you fans, you could think of the yeah. team we're talking, yeah. in either football, baseball, or basketball. Yeah. Yeah. They've won so many games. They just think they're going to win. They believe they're going to win anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's what I was talking about. It's, it's the task of being a good leader or a good boss. Mm -hmm. or a, any type of person that's in a leadership role, it's getting your workers, players, whatever, to believe, number one, it's so crucial. Now, it's very hard if you take over 0-20. Well, what difficult. did Coach Mack? You played for the greatest coach super, ever. Super, and what did he tell difficult. you about not winning right early? early. He, said, he told me I, the number one What did you say? Because you were going to Elwood. Yeah, so win right away because they don't know they don't what winning is. You have to win right away to make them believe you're gonna, you can do it. Absolutely. And that's the deal. And I always thought that. And, and the other side is they have to feel appreciated in some way. Now, if you're getting the wins, you can push the gas a little harder. Right. We've talked about that. These That's coaches, the time to it. Yeah, it's like at Auburn. You know, if he had beaten Alabama, there would have been no investigation. No, no. There would have been no, let's get rid of them, let's For buy sure. them out. But all of a sudden you're losing. It's the antithesis. Now, mm -hmm. what's going to happen next? And like Mike Tomlin, when they were kicking everybody, he was a player's coach. Mm -hmm. The minute they slip a little bit. Oh, yeah. Losing. He has no discipline. A.B. ran the show. 52 yeah. didn't go to meetings. No question. When Losing. they were winning, nothing changed. No. Like, do you think Christian Leitner just started acting like that in the pros? <laughs> no. No. He tortured Krzyzewski. They, they said he was in high school. <laughs> how, how about Kyrie? You don't think he tortured Krzyzewski? Oh, yes. He was happy he graduated. He'd do whatever he wanted. Well, one year. <laughs> he, he left. Yeah, it. Dean Smith was the mo yeah. most miserable when he had Rasheed Wallace there. Yeah. Uh, he always was used to having yeah. guys. His, yes, man. His best players worked their hardest. Absolutely. Rasheed was not thinking He about had a it. big guy there, too, that was a, a discipline. I yeah. can't think of who it was, but when they left, he did not. Cry. I think he helped them pack. He didn't cry, huh? You know what I mean? No, it's very important. Talk about crying. The Youngstown State men ah. on, a, on a winning streak, going strong. Oh, absolutely. Playing a team that has struggled in the conference, Robert Morris, ahead by seven with seven minutes left. 12-0 run. And Robert Morris was a 12 over run at the Big League Center. Yeah. So that's even worse. So I had that one marked down for you. I, I, I had wanted to tell you, I was going to call you and say, we have to lead off with YSU. They're white hot. They're not red hot. They're white you hot. put the whammy on them. Huh? I put the whammy on them, <laughs> as I've done in the past. I've had it before myself. I put the whammy on teams too. 16-11 and now still a good record. Yeah. 10-7 the horizon. What does that mean? It, it, it means probably home court or, or, or going on the road in the play. That, that's why it means a lot. You want the home court when you get into those tournaments. You, oh. you, yeah, you don't want to play on the road. Just look at the close games over the weekend. You know, the home team's going to pull it out. Usually if, if there's a chance, the home team's going to pull it out. Is it the crowd? I don't know. Is it the officials? I don't know. Is it familiarity right, with all the basket? All How about eight? all of the above? I agree. Because we've watched enough basketball. Man, when I had someone in Butler, I was pretty good. George yeah. Jr., I didn't even think Confident, about it. Confident, right. I was in Butler. I was like, we, we, gotta, we can beat anybody here. Mm -hmm. Even Newcastle, as good as right. they were. They didn't like, 
But, you know, they didn't like coming to Elwood either. But, you know, when you went to Blackhawk or Beaver Falls mm-hmm. or I went to Newcastle or N.A., tough. I felt the same way. Yeah, tough. No, absolutely. Right. Let's look at the uh, – we, we had to talk about the Super Bowl. Oh, man, several things come to mind. Uh, I, I know I see things differently than everybody else, but I, let, let me start with that. And I had P. Ryan on one of my props. Why he would carry the ball when your bell cow is mixing and a first down basically keeps the game alive and gives you a nice shot at a long field mm-hmm. goal indoors. Uh-huh. Right. He runs P. Ryan. If he was going, he should have done it on second. Then in fourth down, he goes empty backfield, which is like putting a sign up, hey, Aaron, we're going to drop back. <laughs> and he's coming like a bull. Do you ever see those bulls when they right. see it? And, and I'm just saying, let me. I, I want to talk about this coach for a minute. Did he do great to get there? Absolutely. But just leaving the ball in the 50, not kicking field goals. When there were no expectations, that was fine. I'm of the belief that guy better knock this off. He's not knocking it off. No, that's, I know. That's, that's today's He's football. He's going to get fired at. Yeah, that's today's football. They're all coaching that way. They have expectations now, though. Yeah, there was never a 150 to 1. Yeah, no, they're all coaching that way, though. I so know. So it doesn't matter if you're coaching 0 and 10 or I mean, 10 even, and 0. Even old timers, I mean. They're all going for it kick now. Kick the field goal. Not a chance. Not a oh chance. So you're going to watch game after game do that. Yeah, that prop was one I, I, I'm, I'm kicking myself. Well, they're not going to be any because they're not going to go for yeah, it. They're, gonna, they're going for a first down. Yes. Now, the reason Perrine was in a problem, they were, they were in a, a two-minute offense. Right. And he's in the game. He's the swing pass. He's the guy that comes yeah. in the game. So yeah. The, and so they, they were going, going fast, and so that's why how he ended up in the game. That's the two things I could say about But, you that. know, we talk, we talk to young coaches, a lot of the young coaches. Coach, I said, look, I don't have any advice, but, you know, say, what about down on the goal line? Where I said, I'll tell you what I tell them all. Give the ball to your best player. Yeah, try to get the ball to your best player. Like, if you got a last-second shot, did you want Danny taking yeah, it? Yeah, we're going to get the best player doing it. If no he misses it, he misses, misses you sleep. It. Your head gets yeah, to go. That's the way you it go. works. Now, you know, he's got to be thinking, you know, if Joe carried up. Because I thought, once again, see, here I am. No one's, I got one uh, response on Twitter, Ray Eckenrath. I thought the spot was awful on third down. Oh, did you really? Oh, my gosh. I didn't even, I didn't even notice. Oh, he, of course, he didn't stick the ball out, I didn't but he pulled that. him back. I didn't know. Oh, that's, I know that's, that's how why strong I didn't he is. Him. I didn't notice. Yeah, him. so I just wanted to talk about it. Now, the Rams chased him all night. But here's the funny part, Al. One sack at halftime. The others were on the second half. Yeah, it, it, well, that's, that's what that's when they went what, five wide receivers, nobody in the backfield, and also gave the Rams a chance at halftime to change their thoughts. So we were yeah, getting, Remember, were, it's a half hour. They were not getting there with four guys. Hey, it's a half hour. They added one more guy into the, into the rush. Okay. So they added a fifth guy into the rush, and that's what that really helped. Um, their line's been weak all year. No, no, no. They said, isn't like a surprise. You know, I heard something interesting taking away over there. They're way under the cap. They have the fewest scouts. They spend the less money. They count the jock straps. Are we certain they'll spend the money? Yeah, they've been spending more lately. I just got an article and I said the other way. The Browns, Close? They're second in the league and starting to spend money. But they're way money. under the cap. Yeah, they're starting to spend money now. Yeah. Well, they should. I think they have, you can see how they got better players, too. Oh, no. That's what happened. You know, like you guys said, you finished last long enough. You should, you know, you It was free agents them. that made them yeah. good. Well, well, Burrow and Chase aren't free agents. Yeah, I know, but, the, but, but seven on the seven. Re- the starters, rest of them are. Seven stars on defense. Yeah, all the, the defense. Was, yeah. yeah, no, the defense. So that's what they were. Was fine. I thought. Really, their defense won the won the, the games in the playoffs. Let's talk about offense. the Rams off offense a little bit. Now, Cooper Cup, it was driving me crazy. So where do I know this dude from? I said, Ah, uh, no. I said I know him from somewhere. Then I saw your. That was a great. Message. Somebody sent that to me. It was awesome. That Cooper Cup, you He's, YSU fans, you know him well. He tortured him. Yeah, ten, ten. Complete 10 pass receptions, 186 yards, and two touchdowns. That's all. In that playoff game against Eastern Washington. Right. Yeah. I remember like Rad, it was Radner catches that ball. I thought they were going to cheat back. YSU and say it wasn't a catch because they huddled. Right. On that, you know, that field Absolutely. looks like. Absolutely. You know, Redfield. Redfield. Redfield, yes. And I'm thinking, this Cooper Cup, for about three weeks, it drove me crazy. I said, man, this guy, where do I know him from? You know, it's like when you see somebody and they go, right. do you remember me? And you go, I'm sorry. Somehow, but you, I don't you hate that feeling. That's your worst thing. My worst feeling. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, that's and, what happened. He, and I'm like, I know, I know him. Now I look, I go, absolutely. And by the way, someone said something about MVP. In my mind, that was an easy call. Yeah, it was. He did everything. No, How he about was carrying the ball in fourth down? Yeah, he was the on MVP. the on the because he couldn't run the ball. That's that was the that was the name of the game to me. 
that I thought the Rams could run the ball in a, in a big one. They couldn't run a half inch. No, they didn't. They, no, they killed them on no, the I No, I had a dumb prop. I had the, Akers winning. The Bengals' close. defense yeah. was yeah. tremendous in that game against yeah. the run. Absolutely. How tremendous. about Beckett? Today I heard the bad news. ACL. Same ACL he heard in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. You can tell. You can see the. the, the so that you can see a the, turn. That doesn't. You can see it. So that's why the Rams' victory was really good. Yeah. Because they were they were playing without two of their best receivers on the yeah. field. They Absolutely. were playing with their fourth and fifth receiver. Absolutely. And and that, hey, that was pretty good. How about the last drive? You get it to the fifty. You figure you only need about twelve yards. Mm-hmm. That kid's reputation is Sterling mm-hmm. McPherson. Yeah. It, it, uh, I was thinking they could get in field goal. I didn't like the play going, but that's me. Of course, afterwards when it doesn't work. But then again, yeah, it's easy then. we were like, we were in that position. Yeah. What's Campman doing? What, what, what's he doing? Yeah. You know, if it works, you go, man, that Campman, he's smart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I don't want to say And the reason, I, the reason I, I didn't disagree is because you're putting the ball in Burrow's hand. And that's what they did all year. Yeah. I mean, they, they said, if we're going to win or lose, yeah, Jeb we're going with Burrow. Yeah. Um, I will say this, uh, I, no one's saying about the spot, so I didn't think anything about it. Uh, Cincinnati O-line, we, they knew going in it was yeah, weak. No question. And, uh, but still they got there. Uh, their stars on offense are young. Boyd's the old man at 26. Had a big drop in the game. Oh, Boyd had a big drop. Oh, oh. I thought his mojo would have taken him he past was, the he sticks. He got the first time. He got that, the first time. You know what they said? He didn't drop one all year. I know. Remember, I didn't see all their games, so I'm just... No, he didn't. The, the stats come out. They had that in front of them. You know, everybody, yeah. everybody has the stats. Yeah. He didn't drop one pass all year. He, now, he, how he, about the Rams' philosophy? Good all-in, George Allen style. Do you think other teams will say, hey, it worked for the Rams? If you get a quarterback, it will work. That's, that's what happened. And that, that was that, When you say all-in, the rest of the players mean nothing to me. Because golf is, is – Golf, you can't win a They got the there, but they weren't You can't win a golf. Yeah, so they, they – no, okay, well, that's my next question. We were pretty hard on the dude at the joint. <laughs> and I still – he threw two interceptions. Okay, but game. I'm saying, what I, I does he need great. now to get in the Hall of Fame? I don't think he's a Hall of Fame. Right. to win another one for sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, that's what I want. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think he's a Hall of Fame. They were talking I, about that. I, I was curious. No. Like that game, for example. My he, eye doesn't tell me. He threw two me. interceptions in that yeah. game. My I eye mean, doesn't tell me he's – but they've turned it into the Hall of Pretty Good. See, that's the other thing. I hate that so much. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 you know my yeah, – But you see the Hall of Fame made this year? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I thought two of them were just average players. Yeah. The, the best. Yeah. They were in the Hall of Fame. I don't understand you know, it. And this guy – here's the funny part. This guy put Zach Thomas' stats. Now, I love Sam Mills. You know that. He put his stats beside him. Mm-hmm. It was embarrassing. Yeah, I don't think either one of them are Hall of Famers. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It was embarrassing. That, that tells. See, that brings up talk. Yeah, they're not Hall of Famers. No. Nope. Jeez, oh man, Hall of Fame means the, the very best in your position. <laughs> Let's just finish the Super Bowl <laughs> off with this. We knew Aaron Donald's uh, teachers, coach. His coach was my roommate in college. I saw him on TV the other night talking about how mm-hmm. it, 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 the story is the same. Mm-hmm. Hardest worker, first guy there. Lives in the weight room, right. gives back to Pitt, gives back to Penn Hills. All around good guy. Yeah, no question. I thought that was the, 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 the turning point of the, not turning point, the, the talk uh-huh. after the game. You hear all these announcers. Yeah. Steve Young said, I really enjoyed talking to he and Vaughn Miller. First two humble guys I've met in a long time. Thank Think you. about Thanks, that. Steve Young. Because usually they're Thanks. saying, I, 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 I. He, he enjoyed that. Thank he, you, Steve Young. Yeah, he enjoyed talking to two guys that, Hey, Von Miller had a big play. Talk about, yeah, came inside. Had a big play. Came inside and got him, yeah. You know, you know here's what I have trouble. Now, remember, the Pittsburgh, they're, they're all fanboys. They should do the all, show all, all with a P on every, it. Everybody is Give in me the, a Steeler. We happen to hear but, them all but time, let me yes. say, But let me say this. Is he in that high cotton? Is he in that Reggie White, Lawrence Taylor mode? You talking about Donald? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. okay, then. Yeah, yeah, no question. Well, then that's nothing. Yeah, he's Hall of Fame. Nothing he, to no, say. No, no, he is Hall of Fame. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's a no. He's a, he, he changed the See, game. See, I have trouble when a guy makes two sacks. He changes the game completely. Because what I'm saying is, though, if he doesn't make sacks, what do they write, say right away? They double team. Yeah. And he gets double team on every play, yeah. so you know that. So you, he is Reggie White. As this time. Yes, he is. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. No doubt. I'm done. Now. No doubt. No, I'm done. All star games around the corner. They've turned it Which into sport? A, <laughs> this was basketball. It's one of the ones just like football. It might as well be out. Yeah, of it's Ge- not, yeah. That's where I used to play out of Geesey. We had that bank board with the holes in. Right. You could smack, man. Go in anyway. Oh, you could get it hard, soft, <laughs> and dinner. Now, we'll talk about the uh, – it's pickup style. You know, oh, they have totally. the teams. How about LeBron? 
you know, he's on there and uh, Durant avoiding Harden. Doesn't surprise me. No, no, no you couldn't me. be. Look, let's talk about the big trade. Interesting. Harden for Simmons is basically the trade. Mm-hmm. But you know what? See, I'm a Seth Curry guy. I think he's pretty dang good. And to throw him in, so to speak, right. I thought Brooklyn got the deal. We're going to find out. Hey, uh, let me ask, it. did you trade his son-in-law? Yeah, that's what he What's did, Thanksgiving huh? going to be like for Doc? It'll Rivers? be fine. He's probably happy he went. <laughs> he's tired of Doc yeah, anyway. He's probably went happy he went. Uh, I just think that's so, you know, strange. You trade your son-in-law. Uh, the East in basketball. And let's talk our local team. Cavs are right there, baby. Yeah. The Cavs are East, tough. The East is open. Hey, let me say this, though. I, you know, I have Memphis from back in the day. You're right. Uh, they would be in first in the East. Oh, no, Memphis is playing tremendous. But they're third in the West. Yeah, the West has its two dominant And let's just talk about, talk about Jim, John Morant for a minute. Just the talent that's out of this world. You know? He had something the other day. You know how LeBron will chase that ball down on the break and get – he went up, Al. I'd say he got it seven, eight inches above the square. Easily. But then he put his other hand on it. Easily. He's a point guard. Yeah, easily. Albert. Yeah. He's not a they're center. All, they're all, they're all, they're all like that in the NBA. I mean, they could do things that you can't. No, you can't. Uh, Lakers can. You, you're saying you were, you've been the biggest Laker guy. They're not winning it. No, you saying they're no. not winning it. No, I, I agree with. You. I didn't say they, I didn't say they can't do damage, but, but I'm, I'm saying win it all. They can't win it all. Okay. All the team they put out there. The the supporting cast isn't so no. adequate, is it? Eric? No, no, I agree. Uh, how about Brooklyn? They got one chance, and that's for New York City. To lift the vaccine mandate. You think they're going to? I do. Okay. But maybe they'll be in 10th then. Yeah, they get the ramp back, they'll get in oh, the playoffs. Durant. If, Durant. That, if they get him back, they'll be in the playoffs. I mean, he's not. With no, Simmons no. and Durant, that'll be enough to get him in the playoffs. Oh, with, I saw Kyrie today make 18 straight points. Oh, yeah, on the road. He's, I, know he's he's a, I know he's a goose. He's not cotton because he's. No, I know he's a goose. scoring machine. Oh, no, he's, he's a scoring, scoring machine. machine. He really is. I did see something the other night I thought was interesting. And I heard Shaq say it. Shaq doesn't say a lot, you know, and they tease him a lot, but he's wise. He said, you know, he said, night in and night out, the guy that gives you the bang for your buck is the freak. He does play In other words, the other guys, they're taking off for this, taking off for that, going through the motion. The freak is all He does all play. In. He does play. I think the, I think the teammates you, appreciate it. You agree, too. too. Yeah. Teammates appreciate That's it. That's Antetokounmpo for you. Yeah, he, he shows up. No question. Every now, night NCAA up. hoops just slipped a coin. Who got beat this week? Southern Cal beat UCLA. So I didn't even consider it an upset. No, not anymore. You didn't consider it no, an upset. No, not at all. Uh, Purdue was upset. That was the one. You know, you watch these in football closely, and that's it's smart. After the big emotional game with Illinois, they are flat as a pancake, and Michigan takes them to the woodshed. Then Maryland and I mean the too. woodshed. Oh, Maryland. Maryland had a They had the ball under a hoop to win yeah. it. Uh, mm-hmm. Duke loses at home to Virginia, who's making a little run. They're playing a little better. They're you know playing a little surprise better. surprise to me is, I remember saying this to you one day, and I think I caught you off guard. Notre Dame. Yeah, I think they're better than What's you What's th- going on there? I think you're better than you think you are. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know I, I they are. I think you saw them against uh, Somebody Duke. spanked no. them or Yeah, you saw them against Duke when they scored 40 points. I saw them beat. 30 points, whatever they scored that night. Oh, you know, they scored no points that night. No, they're first place in the league. I told you, that's all it tells you how no, good No, 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 no. Yeah. And let me say this. When is the last time the ACC had one team in the top 20? Yeah. 25? It's the weakest ever. 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 Yeah, it's, it's an ever. That's an ever. That's an now ever. Now the huh? games are getting bigger with a tourney around the corner. Another two, three weeks, we'll be uh, watching Sunday night. That's seeing, fun. Look that's at fun. our 5 <laughs> Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the biggest game for the bubble teams. You know, the teams that are, there's probably 10 or 12 right now. Yeah. That, that. And, and teams like Iota, the one bid leagues, don't. I know they beat Alabama. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't slip up. Well, they have no chance. Don't, don't slip don't, up. I don't even. They, they got they, beat. They have to win. They got beat Friday night. Yeah, they have to win the tournament. Yeah. They're not Sienna getting in. Sienna got them. They're not getting in. Let's talk about MLB. Tell you why I just can't take those guys. And, and it's one of the things you and I, it's like givers and takers. Givers can't give enough, takers can't take enough. They're takers. They have. Zero, now look, people, zero concern for the ushers, the ticket takers, if they they're not on the them. phone, or the vendors. They care nothing about anybody but themselves. And these owners are billionaires. And like we have a buddy who says, oh, not all the players make the money. The cheap guy makes 600000 Yes. And your neurosurgeon doesn't do a whole lot better. Yeah. When you look at uh, 
in the contract negotiations. I don't think they ever started the notice to say, all right, are we hurting the vendors? No, let's not do We're hurting the groundskeeper. I don't think that ever no. comes up in their mind. No. Like spring training. They, they're saying they don't care about spring training. It Brazen survives. It cripples. No. Brazen survives a whole year yeah. with spring training. My buddy called me the other day. He's going down to Clearwater. I said, you might as well wait. He goes, should I get tickets? I said, no. Because, A, I don't think you're going to need them. Yeah, they're not needed. And, B, you'll get in anyway. Yeah, the players are even saying we don't need it anymore. I mean, think about the players saying. We did don't, I hear parking was a thousand dollars yesterday? Did, 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 parking a thousand dollars. Did I hear that at the at the Super Bowl? Did I hear that? It's Because right. if it did, it made me sick. It's of true, and they, and they went. No, I'm sick of myself. And they went. No. <laughs> so you're saying like me, baseball? I'd say in another week they can't start in time. They're not. They're gonna. They're gonna start about a week and a half late. That's why well, they lose. And, and they'll make. They'll still get 162 games. Yeah, in, they'll just play doubleheader on Sunday. Change, and change the schedule. Remember, we were kids. Doubleheader every Sunday. Yeah, I loved it. They had their, what they called Sunday pitchers. Bob Veal. Yes. I saw Bob Veal pitch a hundred times. I know I did. I know I did. Hey, NCAA football, all you need to know is the portal's wide open. Nothing else matters. Recruiting news, Harston at Auburn, one thing matters, the recruiting door. Yeah, and uh, read up on it, and you'll see the teams that are, that are really getting good, and the teams yes. stand out are LSU and Southern Cal. That's why they hired Kelly. That's why they hired Riley. Absolutely. When they went to hire him, and said, "Can you get us players in here?" And they said, "Instantly." Riley's already instantly with Portal and NIL. Yep. Instantly. How about and they, and they did Texas A&M? Are they having trouble with the NIL? George and I told you that. George yep. said told many of stories about A&M before how yep. they have whether they, they have ranchers or <laughs> oil man or oil, oil and cattle, <laughs> oil and cattle. So they asked for a million dollars for the for the, for the next lineman, the next five. They said, "No, you got it." So a and going to take off. Hey, you me heard me say they're taking off. Let me ask you. I have a problem. Once again, I don't want to restrict movement because then I'm a hypocrite because the coaches move. Mm -hmm. But let me say this. In the same conference, got to be something. I'll be that That hypocrite. handshake I'll line. I'll be that hypocrite. That handshake <laughs> line is turning into come play for us. Yeah, I'll be that hypocrite. I don't care. What are you going to say? Because I play with a scholarship. And all as I know is. I have friends that are still paying off their loans. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not. And so, yep. so I think it's enough money. I, okay. And I know there was a... But how about a, transferring in conference? What? Well, that, that, that stinks too. So okay. I, I, just, yeah. I just wanted to say it. Yeah. Auburn, obviously, they were digging dirt on the coach. The biggest reason was they don't want to play the buyout. And I'm, and I'm going to say that if Tank Grigsby falls in bounds, yeah, they, there was no... They beat Alabama. And I want to say something. Hey, Auburn, there's hypocritical, then there's hypocritical with a capital H. When your basketball coach is Bruce Pearl and you want to fire someone <laughs> who winning. doesn't cooperate, what's the difference? Winning. He's number one. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's that's incredible. That's the way it works. That's just the way it works. A couple minutes left. Al Michaels leaving. The rumor is he's going to streaming only. He's going to team up with Troy Aikman on Amazon. But <laughs> oh, you will no longer watch Thursday Night Football. Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Think about that. Only thing I know about Amazon, it stops in my daughter's house every day. Yeah. I know nothing they else know, about Amazon. They know her name by the they package. Do. At it, Tiffany, we got another they do. package. That package stops every day. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Al Michaels, most famous for you to believe yeah. in miracles. Yep. So, yeah. The uh, line ball, of online. Right? Uh, Lovey Smith getting the job. Is it a reaction to the lawsuit by Flores? Definitely a reaction, but I think it's a great hire. I love Lovey Smith. You know, I'm a big Lovey Smith guy. Okay. So, so I, I, I think he's going to do a great job yeah. there. I, the okay, question is, so. what are they going to do with Watson? Oh, nasty. That's the question. It's just ironic that the whole year went by. Well, why couldn't they get him in front of a judge? Why don't they? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's at least get to the bottom of it. Hey, Al, uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland both have to deal with the new look Bengals. Yeah. And, and so will, and Baltimore will be back too. They're not going to take it long. That well, division next year, look out. Yeah, the Baker Mayfield going to be healthy. The teams just get better and better. Absolutely. Because you know, uh, right. Cincinnati's proof, George. Yeah. If you just sat here last year, this time said, yeah. we got, we're going to have to deal with <laughs> Baltimore. 4 11 and 1. No, we're going to have to deal with Baltimore yeah. and Cleveland. Right. You, you say Cincinnati. Never. So who, who, we can predict right now no. somebody's going to be good next year. No. That you're not predicting. No, right they now. were 150 to 1. Yeah. Let's wrap it up right here. Uh, obviously, the Rams and New England. The coach says he's retiring. I think he's, he's just talking at 36. He's I agree. Retired. Thanks again for watching Bottom Line Sports Talk. We'll see you next week.